what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel now i typically don't make these kind of videos but there's a few things in this flyer that i actually did want to kind of show you guys in case you guys haven't gotten this one yet um so stick around for page four because that's going to be pretty interesting but let's go ahead and open it up and get right into it now on this first page you got a six piece precision screwdriver set for 39.95 that's going to be your Phillips and slotted. And then you've got another six piece set of the Torx precision screwdrivers. Those are $39.95 as well. Then right here, you've got your, basically your Infinium cordless ratchet quarter inch kits. Comes with, looks like one battery and the ratchet and the charger. Um, now this is not the sealed head ratchet. This is the regular ratchet. Um, so $411 just seems pretty overpriced to me. Um, I think maybe one or two guys in the shop actually have this ratchet. Everybody else pretty much uses Mac, I mean, Snap-on in Milwaukee. This set right here is your 17 piece punch and chisel set. This one I'm sure is made by Mayhew and I think I've seen them on you know Amazon and even JD Tico for way cheaper than that. Um, I think I saw them on Amazon for about a hundred bucks. So. It's definitely a good set to have, but I would definitely would get it from either Amazon or somewhere else, just directly through Mayhew, and you'll save yourself a ton of money. Uh, let's see, $90 for some Bluetooth earbuds. Um, I mean, there's so many options for earbuds out there. I'm sure those aren't bad, but I mean, you can get a probably equal set for about 30 bucks, like Best Buy or even Walmart or Target or something like that. Now, moving on to the second page, you've got your three-piece lineup pry bar set, 130 bucks. This set and, let's see, a three-piece 16-inch long pin punch set. Both of these sets are actually made by Wild or Wildy, um, whatever you call it, but those prices as well are super overpriced buying it off the truck. Lifetime warranty, no matter where you buy it from, because wild or will do they lifetime warranty all this stuff they make pry bars punches and chisels too so these are definitely nice but i would definitely get it directly through will be through amazon um homedepot.com or wherever else you can find them just a quick google search will show you a bunch of different options um let's see you got your three eighths four piece 88 tooth long flex ratchet with chrome extension set 238 bucks. I do like the Matco ratchets um, I like the locking mechanisms, but I've had a bunch of their ratchets where I've had issues with them So I don't really buy too many Matco ratchets anymore 238 bucks um, I think the ratchet itself is probably like $180 so if you're into the Matco ratchets and you're thinking of picking one up this is a good way to go. $114 for a quarter inch drive, four inch stubby ratchet. That's probably about normal of what these professional ratchets go for. And 20 bucks for a Matco bottle opener. Uh, if you like the bottle openers or you collect them, it's not a bad way to go. But right here on page four is what I wanted to look at. This is a special that they're doing, I think maybe until the end of December, where if you buy any Matco 4S double bay or triple bay box, you get a free hutch. Now, the only reason I'm super interested in this is because I have a 55 inch classic Snap-on that I've been either wanting to get a new cart or upgrade or, you know, get a new box, whatever. And, you know, this is actually not a bad deal because you're getting the free hutch. Um, but definitely talk to your dealer first and find out what the prices on the boxes are going for in case they've marked them up, you know, to, to throw in that hutch uh, because they're known to do crazy shit like that. But the let's see, the 4S double bay box, this is 57 inches and I think about 28 inches deep. Uh, pretty comparable to the Snap-on uh, Classic and the Master Series, I guess, the KRL Series. The KRL Master Series is... 55 inches wide and I believe about 28 to 30 inches deep. The KMP series is way more expensive. Um, that's the one that Snap-on has that comes with the power drawer and the speed drawer. Um, this box alone on 
from everywhere I've looked, as far as the Matco website and the app, uh, this box runs anywhere from about eight to nine grand, which is more comparable to the Masters, the KRL series, because um, the KMP series runs about 11 grand. Um, and then this is the triple base set, and this is pretty much gonna be also comparable to the 72 inch KRL or the KMP, but the KRL 72 inch runs about 12 grand, and the KMP 72 inch runs about 14. So these, I think I saw them for about 11 to 12 grand. So not a bad price, I guess, when it comes to these professional toolboxes. So if they're selling them to you for the regular price and you're getting a free hutch, definitely a good way to go. And if you have a box to trade in, then that'll just knock more money off of the total, which is definitely something to think about. That way you can get your box and your hutch all at once and be done with it, get a good price and you know then add on storage later if you want uh the only thing is that you have to get one of these colors so the black with the red trim blue with black trim black with purple uh slate gray with black or the black with red and then here's a list of all the part numbers for all the boxes in the double bay and triple bay um, so like I said, if you're thinking of upgrading and got a box to trade in, this might not be a bad way to go, but let me know what you guys think is this, either one of these boxes really an upgrade from a Snap-on Classic, um, which is what I'm thinking of doing, or should I just keep my Classic and maybe add a side box or, you know, maybe even get a cart? Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section, but let's go ahead and move on to the next page. And right here, you got $37 for two magnets and a mirror. And you have $15 for a magnetic pickup tool. $27 for a couple of plastic pry tools. That's definitely overpriced. For $27, bucks, you probably get a you know, 15, 20 piece set on Amazon. Um, $25 for three seat clamps. I mean, that's not a bad price, I guess, for some seat clamps if you guys are still using these. Um, if not, I mean, probably find them two, three dollars each at Harbor Freight, which a seat clamp is a seat clamp. So, you know, there's not really much point or much of a, of a benefit from buying them off the truck. $34 and 50 cents for some heavy duty scissors and $29 for some heavy duty scissors with cable cutters. Moving on to the next page, you got $35 for the, for a quarter inch drive, 11 piece mini ratchet. $40 for a power pro voltmeter. Um, I think that's pretty much what I've seen those going for, um, even on Amazon. So maybe not a bad price there, but definitely look around if you're in the market for that because we all know Matco likes to mark stuff up. $27 for a test probe adapter kit. And this looks like it's just a fender cover, $23.50 for a fender cover. That's about average. Uh, folding utility knife, $36. This headlight is super popular. I know you can find a ton of them on Amazon too, all different kinds of brands. Dual LED strip headlamp with motion sensor, $37.95. That's actually not bad. I mean, you know, to give your Matco guy some business, that's not a bad buy. $24 for a Matco hitch cover, $19.95 for a necklace with folding knife. And my coworker actually kind of flipped out when he saw this because $34.95 for a pair of socks we we're both like what the fuck but it's actually six pairs of socks so at five bucks a pair that's not bad and 16.95 for a matco pencil holder and a standing contact phone charger 44.95 moving on to this so you got 18 dollars for magnetic parts trays and looks like you get six inch round magnetic part tray uh stainless steel resistant corrosion cover I wonder if you just get one or if you get all of them. Um, that's probably just one. It's kind of expensive also, just to have the Matco logo on it. Doesn't really seem worth it. If you guys saw my post on Instagram, Kohl's has a set for like 40 bucks with the same thing. And it's completely freaking crazy because you can get these trays at Harbor Freight for freaking two to $3 each. $45.95 for two magnetic parts bowls. Um, yeah, it's a little overpriced, but I mean, if you want to buy them off the Mac truck, that's fine. Uh, I think you can get these from OEM tools or even I think Capri maybe on Amazon for like 10 bucks each. 
This one, 45 bucks. Also not a bad buy, but these do not separate. So it's just one tray with four compartments. So be aware of that before you pick that up. Magnetic bit holder, 26.95. Uh, I've never really seen that, so I don't have much experience with it. But these magnetic tray pads here, these are dope. I like these. 34 bucks for the eight by 11 or $40 for the five and a quarter inch by 18. A little overpriced as well, but I think that's pretty common of the price of what they go for on these tool trucks. Then you get 8150 for the big one, 11 by 19 and a half inches. 5150 for some pride tools. $90 for a two piece carbide scraper kit. I definitely would not pick that up through the truck. I'd get that through Lyle. Same exact thing, cheaper price, same lifetime warranty. And let's see, 16 inch push lock indexing pry bar, $91. And I don't think that's the USA made one. So if it's not USA made, I'd just buy it somewhere else. Save yourself at least half that. Uh, four piece magnetic organization holders for $86 and $63 for a slim flip recharging light with UV. This light just seems really cheap to me. I'm definitely not interested in that. But if you guys are looking for a folding light with a UV light, it might not be a bad way to go. It just looks really, really cheap. Let's see. And then $63 for the Nipex Cobras and the little Christmas ornament. I think I've seen them online for around that price, maybe 30, 40 bucks or something like that. $62 for a phone holder. $51 for a stainless steel bottles with Bluetooth speaker. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about that. Uh, you got some pajamas, some freaking barbecue tools. And just kind of some gift ideas over on this page. So you got some hammers, three piece ball peen hammers for $171. Also doesn't say if they're USA made. So if they're not, I wouldn't buy it off the truck. You got $123 for your indexing pencil and right angle butane soldering kit. Some flare nut wrenches for 170 bucks. And your five piece clip removal tools for $128. On this back page, got some Oakley glasses, Helio stats, so it doesn't really give you a price on those. Eight piece wrench set for $176. A bump box, custom micro boom box, $119. 24 inch indexing pry bar for $134. Ratcheting belt for $134, it's crazy. Let's see, you got a heavy duty digital tire inflator for $227. Some more Oakley glasses. And you've got your big 3A drive brushless impact wrench, $552. That's the kit though, so you're gonna get a battery and a charger. And looks like that's it on this page. And you got your power probe kit. Looks like $598. It is a master kit, so you get, let's see, your combines the power probe looks like you get some leads another kind of meter there um depending on what's in the kit might be worth it but definitely shop around when it comes to the power probe stuff because you can find it everywhere my cornrow guys got really good prices on all the power probe stuff you got 221 dollars for the whole sock kit i probably it says usa made um I don't know how good these are though, so I'd probably go with a Milwaukee set, save some money, get a good proven whole sock kit. You got a welding helmet for $284, and you get a free bag, and you've got a couple guitars. Looks like they're Gibson guitars, so if you're into music, you play instruments, that's a pretty cool guitar. Combines your love of tools and your love of music. But aside from that, looks like just some games there. But not much else to go through in this, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Mostly, I kind of just wanted to look at that toolbox. So let me know what you guys think. Is it a good choice? Aside from that, we'll see you guys on the next one.